third episode of this series of the 2D Metroidvania series. This time we're gonna take a look at how to create a jump and a double jump and we're also gonna take a look at how we can actually create a jump that is similar to the one that you have in Hollow Knight where you can uh, jump higher if you continue to press a specific key higher uh, and you can also interrupt the jump. The asset is available in the description and uh, you can also find in the description the link for my uh, my game Lone Knight that you can wishlist on Steam at the moment which is a 2D Metroidvania that should be released normally this year this time and uh, you can also find my latest course where I am making a 2D RPG with a crafting system, an inventory and a dialogue manager and also in that same course I am making as well an introduction to 3D in Godot 4. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, we're going to set up the jump. For that, we're going to be in need to have a camera that is a bit better set because here we have a little bit of, uh, we don't have enough room for being able to appreciate the jump we're making. So I'm just going to go to my camera 2D and I'm just going to go to the move mode here and I'm just going to put it something like this. Something like this will be enough. So now I can see my, uh, my player. Everything is good. You can see also after all the collision shape right here. You don't need that. Uh, so you can just appreciate everything normally. Okay, so uh, we need to get for our jump, we need to have several stuff and we need uh, to uh, get the input of our jump, which is gonna be uh, in our project, project setting, we can go to our input map and here we can uh, we can click on show built in action and we're gonna use UI axis that is right here. The only change that, um, that I'm gonna make here is that I'm gonna click on the plus. I have my game controller um, plugged to my uh, desktop and I'm gonna click on A. And so like this, I'm just adding uh, uh, an input to my game controller. So like this, I can also use my uh, game controller for testing my game. So now I'm going to click on close and I'm going to go back to the code of my player. So here I'm going to click on the script icon. And what I want to do here is I want to make some uh, new variable. So I'm going to make a little space here. I'm going to put a, a um, comment for me. And this is going to be variable for jumping. So what I want to do here is first, I want to have a jump force. For that, I need to create a variable. So I'm going to say var jump uh, underscore force, and I'm going to set it to be equal to 500, something like this. Uh, I'm not going to use float number. I um, really highly recommend you to not use float number for everything that is related to gravity and jump, because for some reason that I can't explain, because honestly, I don't know why, uh, there's like some weird issue. So me, I'm using integer for that. So now that we have created that jump force, that jump force, I will actually to have the possibility to modify it into the inspector to be able to tweak it a bit more like easily. So for that, I'm going to put it as an export. And so now it's going to uh, display into my player uh, inspector. So I also need to uh, have um, the possibility to create a double jump. So for that, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a variable and that variable, I'm going to call it jump underscore count and I'm going to set it to be equal to zero. And then I want to have another variable that's going to be an export. And that variable is going to be my max jump. So I'm going to say export var max underscore jump. And I'm going to set it to be equal per default to two. So now that we have those variables, we can create uh, our uh, jump. So for that, we need to go uh, under if input is equal to zero. And here I'm going to create a new space. And this one is going to be code related to jumping. So now I, I know that my code is like set up nicely. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to change the velocity on the Y axis when I am pressing my uh, my key. So UI accept uh, that we have uh, right here. That's the that's the key that I'm gonna use. UI accept gonna be uh, in uh, in need to just modify the velocity on the Y axis. So for that we're gonna say if input dot is underscore action underscore press not just press because i want to have the possibility to jump higher if i am keeping pressing my uh, space bar higher then here what i want to do is i want to uh, reset my velocity dot y so my velocity dot y i want to set it to be minus equal to my jump force 
uh, minus equal because when we are on the uh, y-axis, so the green line right here, when we are going up, we are going in a uh, negative, and when we are going down, so when we are falling, we are going in positive. So that's why here I am using minus equal jump force. Now that I have done that, I also need to have uh, a way to get the input I'm pressing just in case I'm jumping and I'm going to the right or to the left. So for that, I need to take my velocity.x and I need to be set it uh, equal to my input. That's basically what we need right now. So now let's have a look. I'm going to just click. Can I jump? Yes, I can jump. And as you can see, I'm jumping quite far. Uh, it's because uh, I'm using an uh, action press here. And so what we need to do is we need to have also uh, some different type of way to check different, uh, different possibility when we are jumping. One of them is, for example, when I am releasing my key, because here I am using action press. But if I am not pressing anymore, I need to check that. So here I need to say if input with a capital I is underscore action release, just release, and it's going to be also your accept, then I need to reset my velocity.y to my gravity. So velocity.y is equal to gravity something like this. Uh, and also, I need to check my uh, my uh, velocity.x. I need to copy it here. And that's good. So now let's have a look. Now you can see I am uh, falling. So that's cool. Perfect. So now we need to uh, just like uh, uh, have control on our jump. So for having control on our jump, uh, we can use built-in function in Godot that are uh, is on floor. So is on floor and not is on floor. That's what we're going to use basically. So when I am pressing on my spacebar, n is on floor is true. So just like this, I can jump and I can modify my jump force. But if I'm not on floor, so here at the beginning, if not is on floor, and I'm pressing my uh, my key. I not, I'm not going to be able to jump. So let's see. You can see that now I'm going to spam, and it's still still uh, I'm still a bit able to jump still. So we're gonna we're gonna change that very very soon. So now what I need to do is that I need to make uh, another thing. I need to make some precision. I want to be able to uh, have a double jump and that's how we're going to be able to control all our jump. So uh, the first thing I want to do is here I want to first display the right animation when I am jumping. So here I'm going to come here and I'm going to say if I'm not on floor, is on, not is on floor like this, then what I want to do is like I want to check my velocity dot y and depending if my velocity dot y is going to be negative or positive, I'm going to display my jump animation or my fall animation. So here, if my velocity dot y is smaller than zero, so it means that I am in negative, then I want to say dollar sign anim dot play, and here I want to get my jump animation. And I can just copy that line actually, and I can just put it back here. And here, instead of uh, smaller, I can say greater than zero. And so here, instead of jump, I can say fall. So let's have a look now. Normally, it should display the right animation. Voila. See? Like, when I'm jumping, I'm jumping. And when I'm falling, I have my fall animation that display. I can also go around and I can jump and move at the same time. So that's perfect. So now we need to be able to have a bit more control on our jump. So uh, for that, we're going to use our variable jump count that we have created right here and our max jump. So what I want to do here is that uh, I want to use my, uh, my jump count and I want to check if my jump count is greater than my max jump. So like this, I will be able to make a double jump until a certain point. So here for that, I'm going to, after input is action press UI accept and is on floor. I'm going to make another check and I'm going to say if jump underscore count is smaller than max jump. Remember that my max jump is a set to be equal to two. So we have two jump possible. Then what I want to do here is I want to say that my jump count is plus equal to one because we are pressing on our key. And like this, it's going to add our jump count to our jump count here. And uh, here, I want to also add that same line of code, 
when we are uh, not on the floor. So like this, we can see if we can uh, still jump while we are in the air. So now this is good. So uh, I just need to have another uh, element here. And that element is that we need here that code is like when we are releasing our key or spacebar. But we need to, for making our double jump, we need to check if we are on the floor and if we are pressing our UI accept. So for that, we need to create a new if statement here. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to just come here and I'm going to say if uh, not is underscore is underscore on underscore floor uh, and input with capital I is action just press this time uh, UI accept and I'm just gonna also uh, pass my jump count and max jump here then here what we can do is like we can just basically copy that and we can pass it here voila and so now what we need to do is we need to be able to reset our jump count to be at zero when we are touching the floor because if we are keeping the call right now we would jump we would just be able to jump two times and that's it so at the beginning of my code here i can just say if is underscore on floor like this then what i can do is i can i can just say that my jump count is equal to zero so like this it will uh, reset my jump count to zero and I will be able to jump. So let's have a look now how it looks. I can jump like this and you can see that everything is good. So that's fine. And you can also see that my jump uh, is like basically the same. So yeah, uh, what you can do is like, there's another thing that we can do is like after all that code that we have created right here, I can make an else and here I can say that else is equal to gravity force. So if I am not meeting any of the requirements that I have set up here, I can apply my gravity force, which is gonna have as an impact to lower my jump force of my second jump. I'm gonna show you. So if I come here, you can see that now it reset my, uh, my, uh, my, the jump force of my second jump is very smaller and if it's something that you want to do and then you want to apply a specific type of force on the second jump you can go here on that uh, segment here of the code like where we are pressing our second jump and you can here make a uh, you can multiply it for example you can multiply it by 1.1 for example let's see i come here and you can see that the jump is slightly higher but you can uh, increase that so for example you can put 1.7 and you can come here and you can now have a massive more massive jump and stuff like that so for example me the value that i've tested if i remember well it was 1.3 it was looking good voila looking good even 1.2 actually is better so i'm gonna put 1.2 something like this but you're not forced to use that and like you can also just like use the normal stuff for that you just need to remove that else statement here and you just need remove to need to remove that part here and that will work and now the good thing that we have with that method is that if i go to my player because i put my max jump as uh, an export i can modify my max jump here and so for example i can put four here and so now i'm going to be able to jump for example four time ah, three time actually one first two three four and that five that's it like this one two three four and that's it and then i, I can just uh, uh go back on the floor two three four i'm just testing un two trois quatre <laughs> let's count in french with me uh so anyway that's how you can uh, create a jump here with that done we have the basic of a double triple quadruple jump whatever you also are able to control the jump that you want and that's fine maybe also you can create uh, a, a jump a second jump you can also make sure that you can uh, control the jump but like the problem is like i'm gonna show you if you come here and you put is action press let's see what's going on voila it adds a lot of the the, the the jump here and so that's why i am using just press right here i don't know why uh this happens so there's maybe a fix for that i'm not sure for now i haven't found something that is working the way i want so that's why i am using is action just press this way if you know the solution just uh don't hesitate to uh, tell me uh, in, uh, in comment why, um, what is your solution, and that's it. But for now, we are good, and so we're going to uh, 
in the next video we're gonna start to create a bit more the background because that's very needed like right now our game is quite dull so like we're gonna uh, continue to work on that in the next video so that's it for me i hope this video has been helpful for you if it's the case don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel me i want to thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye